Hey guys, so today we will take a look at another box of sea animals right over here, okay? So we have a really colorful mix of sea animals and prehistoric sea animals. So first, let's take a look at this. This is actually a Chronosaurus. Chronosaurus is actually a prehistoric or marine reptile. Okay, you can take a look at this. It has four flippers. It looks like a modern day alligator. Okay. It's green in color, some black stripes. It can actually move the tail so it can swim really fast underwater. And this huge jaw is able to catch a lot of um, fish. Next up, let's take a look at this really squishy octopus. So you can see it has eight tentacles. And this octopus is able to camouflage. It's able to blend into its surroundings, can change its color. So it's a pretty, pretty amazing um, sea animal. Okay. Next, we have a lobster. It has um, two missing legs right over here. So you can see it has huge fillers right over here. Two huge pencils. The body is really tough. It's covered with like shell, protective shell. And you can see it has many legs as well. It's supposed to have eight legs, all right? And um, two huge pencils. Some beautiful sea corals right over here, which you can find underwater, okay? Next up, got this huge shark right over here. It looks like a shark, but this is actually a um, prehistoric shock which is known as the Megalodon. So you can actually open this up. You can put in some small little fish in. Let's try to find some small fish. Put it in. You can even put like a penguin into its mouth. You'll be able to get it out from its body. Right over here. So it's pretty cool. So you can see this huge Megalodon it has really really sharp teeth and it has the ability to grow back its teeth um, it, they go missing. So you can see plenty of like battle scars across the entire body. Okay, next up, take a look at this weird looking um, shark. The jaw, the mouth looks really weird and this is actually known as a goblin shark. It looks pretty weird looking, very interesting looking. Not the best looking shark you can ever find, but you know, it has a very unique name and unique appearance. Next, let's take a look at this. This is actually a whale shark. Whale shark, the name actually sounds, you know, like a pretty aggressive sea animal. But in fact, it is actually a very docile, very gentle sea animal. It is able to, um, it doesn't really eat smaller fish. It basically fits on plankton, okay? Like little particles in the water. It takes in all the water from its mouth and filter out all the food particles. Next, we have a Talosaurus, which is a type of Mosasaur as well. It's a prehistoric uh, marine reptile, okay, not exactly a dinosaur. Alright, so let's move on. Let's take a look at this. This is a hammerhead shark, and hammerhead shark, there are actually plenty of um, different species. There's like a smooth hammerhead shark and plenty of other different species. And this could be a smooth hammerhead shark. Looks pretty scary. You can see it has multiple rows of teeth. And um, this portion of its head looks like a hammer, which is why it's known as the hammerhead shark. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I read that this part of its head can actually be used to pin down its um, prey while it's feeding on it. So it's pretty cool. Another shark figure right over here. So once you press this fin, the jaw will actually snap. But you can see this figure only has one row of teeth on uh, the upper side and the lower side. It's supposed to have many rows instead. Okay. What is this? This is actually um I think this is a sand shark. So the color of it resembles the color of sand. Okay. Next up, 
not too sure what type of shark this is. It could be a goblin shark, you know, looking at the teeth, which is protruding. So it could be a goblin shark. But the face is not weird enough to actually resemble a goblin shark. Okay, right over here we have a blue whale, which is one of the largest uh, whales around. So whales are basically the largest mammal that you can ever find on Earth right now. Okay. Next we have an orca, which is also known as a killer whale. So they are basically apex predators. They can even feed on um, sharks. They can even attack whales. Extremely smart sea animals and extremely strong and aggressive. Here we have a uh, walrus. You can see it's two huge and long ivory tusks, and the body is really, really um, well covered with like blubber, which is fat, to keep itself warm in the very cold temperatures. Okay, so you can see it has very wrinkly skin texture, flippers. The dolphin right here, it is probably a bottlenose dolphin. Another one. And here it's a great white shark, so you can see. The entire face looks so cool, looks so menacing, very aggressive looking. And they have really good sense of smell. They can smell blood from miles away. Extremely smart and intelligent sea animals. We have a um, starfish right here. So you can see the shape actually resembles a star. And they're really colorful, really pretty and beautiful. Here is an another whale shark, so you can actually recognize it by the spots it has on its body. This is like a little squid. Okay, you can see it has plenty of tentacles. Orca, more killer whales. Another orca right over here. So it looks like we have plenty of orcas in today's video. There's some seagrass. And this is another prehistoric uh, marine reptile which could be a Crunosaurus, which is a type of Mosasaur. And here is another shark. Not exactly sure what kind of shark this is, probably a great white shark, you can see there's plenty of um, different rows of teeth. And here we have a green sea turtle, you can see as four flippers, a hot shell, so they lay their eggs on the coast of the beaches and they leave them to hatch on their own. Here the lobster. So this lobster has um, no missing legs as compared to this one. Okay. A blue starfish. Which has a purple underbody. Lastly, we have an orca as well, so we have plenty of our class today. Okay, so these are all the sea, different sea animals that we have. I'm gonna place them all back into the box.
documentary. You should have forgotten to talk about this. Alright, thanks for watching this. Goodbye.